Look where you're standing at your feet. The stones run completely underground. They go right here. They're coming to the left. They go to the tree and they come back to the log. I'm going to bet if we were to scan this, that's an entrance. Here's a room. Cotton brings a new set of eyes to this. You could walk by these things 100 times and you don't see it. But when he kind of looks at it and, and Aubrey looks at it and they explain it to you, it's just it's kind of like an aha moment. Like this could actually be what he says it is, you know? Charles, let's step back, separate set of eyes, take a look at this. Maybe 10% of this wall is glacial boulders. Right. What sticks out about this wall is these rocks were intentionally cut. How do we know this is McGinnis Foundation? Is it possible the structure existed in some fashion, McGinnis adopted it? It's possible. Could part of the foundation that once belonged to Daniel McInnes really have been part of a much older man-made structure? But if so, what kind of structure? Who built it? And perhaps more important, when? For 200 years, there has been debate as to when this area of North America was settled and by whom. Although it is well documented that Spanish and Portuguese ships often sailed through these waters, there are some who believe Oak Island and the surrounding area may have been inhabited hundreds and perhaps thousands of years earlier, long before the indigenous people called the Mi'kmaq are known to have lived in the region.